Hello, Debbie here. Welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. So I'm still doing tutorials on products and some possible ways to use them. So what I'm doing is basically for inspiration and to give you ideas and to show you some products that are available that you have and you're not sure how to use or that you're not sure if you want to buy them to use them. So what I'm going to do today using waxes, so here's something that I've done using waxes. Now this is a canvas, so I just buy the canvas, paint it all black with black gesso and then decorate it from there. But for this particular one, I'll just show you what, oh here's another one that I've done. So you're only limited by your imagination. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me show you, Just this is just one way you could use them. Now, these days they come in tubes. They used to come in these little um, tins, but apparently people were having trouble with them all drying out. So that's why they went to the tubes. So same product different container so let's show you what I've got here so what I've done was I poured some resin pieces and once they were dry I've painted them black and that was using the gesso I've painted them black with and now we're just going to add the uh, metallic um, waxes to them and I'll show you a couple of different ways or how, not so much a couple of different ways to do it, but how they turn out. They're pretty awesome. So let's see, let's start with, oh, here we go. What about a bronze? So let's have, we'll have a bronze castle. So just, oh, the smell of these is just beautiful. So I've just put a little bit on my finger and now I'm just going to go over wherever I've painted it black and it just highlights areas. So <clears throat> having long nails doesn't help because you can get it under your nails. <laughs> Never mind. You can use a brush, but I prefer the fingers. There we go, so there's, so quick and easy. And the effects you get are just stunning. So the more you add, the more vibrant the color is. So depending on the effect you want would depend on how much you want add. Okay, we'll just pop a bit around the sides. So when I did this one, I've painted it all black. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I painted it all black, but I stuck all my little bits and pieces down. And to do that, I used this um, gel medium. So I just painted all that over. And then once it was all dry, I then painted everything black. And then from there, I've just added the colors that I want. So look, there's the castle. So it's quite effective. So we'll pop that one away. And let's go, oops. Put the lid on properly might help. Okay. Now I've just got some wet ones here to clean my fingers off between colors. Again, that's a preference. Some people don't worry about doing that. So let's see, we've got a bird here. So this one's called Green Bro Bro Brocade. So let's show you this one. So I'll do this one in a couple of different colors. So we'll do his feathers here in this one. So 
and where the fit is down here. So there's that one. And now we'll use, let's see, this one's called Peacock. So put a little bit on my finger. And we'll do these feathers in the peacock. That's a pretty colour. And we'll just dab some more just around there as well. Don't squeeze it too tight. I don't think I can get that back in there. And let's see, for his tail feathers, let's do electric violet. I'll try not to squeeze as much out this time. Put that down there on his tail feathers. You might pop some up here on his head as well. So the, just the effect of them is just awesome. Yeah, what else we got here? So let's do, we've got vintage gold here. So let's do that one. Just do that. On the twig that he's standing on. So, as I said, like these pieces are done with resin, but you don't have to use resin pieces. Like um, you can get little metal pieces like this, little embellishments. Maybe if I put it down there, you might be able to see it. So you could paint that black and then do the same thing and stick that onto your card. And let's do his beak in that one as well. And then we'll do, let's see, rich copper. So I'll just do that one. Oh dear, that had an air bubble in it. I've got way more than I needed. Never mind. Let's see if I can just do that on his legs. Some on his face as well. So look at that. So said, could you imagine a peacock done with these? It would be just so pretty. Okay, so there's that one. Yeah, what else have we got here? What other colours have we got? We got rusty brown, burgundy. I've got a tree here. I don't think I've actually got a green. No, I don't. I don't have a green one. Let's go on this seahorse. Let's try the rusty red. Just see if I can squeeze a little bit out. In fact, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to pick up Bits and I'll just pop this lid on so I don't get any more anyway. So off the top here, I've just got all the colours that I've used. So I'm just going to randomly pick it up and just do different colours around it. So it doesn't have to be all uniform colours, it can just be whatever you like. And this is the joy of mixed media. You're really only limited by your imagination and just do whatever you like. And then with these, you can put them onto a canvas or a card or just a decorative piece. Okay. Yeah, 
zoom off with some more of the blue on there. And purple. I've used up nearly all the paints I've got there, or waxes. Anyway, it's just another quick way you could use it. I've still got this little tree here. Maybe let's see what this one's like. So this one's called White Pearl. Let's pop a bit on my finger. Let's put the, oh, look at that. It looks like snow on the tree. Gee, if you wanted to, you could just about paint the tree green and then add the snow look on top. There we go. So it's just another one. So look, just a little bit of fun. So they're called Art Alchemy Metallic Wax. And they're a bit of fun. And I think they're from Finnabar, or Finnabar, I think you pronounce it. I'm not sure. There's a lot of colours available. I've only got a few. But yeah, look, have fun, experiment and play. And um, I've got a Facebook group or a couple, Card Making for Beginners and Beyond and um, Barossa Valley Crafts. And feel free to come and join and share your creations or your take on my tutorials if you like. You, you don't have to. We're not limited to brands or anything, so you can show everything and anything you like. Anyway, a little bit of fun, something different. And if you're going, step out of your comfort zone and give them a go. Thank you for watching. Bye.